So last time on Paper Mario Pro Mode, we ended up finishing Chapter 7, and then coming back to Toad Town and doing some side quest stuff. I actually did some grinding off-stream, as you can see. I ended last stream in Dry Dry Outpost, now I'm back in Toad Town. The reason was I was grinding for um, recipe items as well as Little Oinks, so I got another Repel Gel from the Little Oinks, as well as a Thunder Rage and a Shooting Star. I also made some Life Shrooms and a bunch of Shroom Steaks, and there's a reason for that. So today, I thought, I'm hoping we can finish pretty much all the rest of the side quest stuff. I think all the star pieces we have left to get are from Chuck Quizmo's stuff, so let's try to get that uh, done with sooner rather than later. Other than that, should be pretty simple stuff. I will have to go back to Shiver City. Uh, those shroom steaks I'm planning on using... Oh yeah, I still have the pebble in here. That's right. One of the last... A Actually, wait a second. Do I have an Ultra Shroom in here, or not? I also sold a lot of the old recipes that I had that I wasn't going to use. So a lot of the stuff like the lemon candy and the lime candy, which I figured I wasn't going to actually use, I ended up just selling for some cash. Which was helpful for the little wink farming. Anyhow. Let's try to track down Chuck Quizmo, and I also need a strange leaf in order to mix with that blueberry. Whee! I suppose I should have gotten the strange leaf off stream as well. Whoops. Anyhow, for those of you who are wondering, Chuck Quizmo can appear in Toad Town near Merlin's house in Goomba Village, off to the left side. Two different places in Koopa Village, and then Dry Dry Outpost in two different places. Here he is. Cowers! If his questions weren't different, I would have done this off-stream as well. How many different kinds of little oinks are there? Um, I think there are ten different types, actually. Yep. Correct! Here's your star piece! I learned that, actually, doing the little oink farm again. I usually don't... I usually don't uh, bother with little oinks in most playthroughs. Question! Which one of these doesn't make anything when Tasty cooks it with cake mix? Um, cake mix and... Well, let's see, that makes a cookie cookie. I don't think the ice potato makes anything. Dry, I guess it's dried fruit. Really, cake mix plus ice potato actually makes something? That is surprising to me. Is it like the big cookie, maybe? I would think that the dried fruit would have made the big cookie. With cake mix. Oh man. When in doubt, Chuck Quizmo usually spawns in Koopa Village, because he has two different spawn places here. I guess same with Dry Dry Outpost. He can also spawn in Shiver City, but I think he does that pretty rarely. Wow, he's not here! I wonder if he literally just respawned back in Goomba Village again. Otherwise, we might actually end up going to Shiver City, which is fine. Because I need to go back to Shiver City anyways. Oh, he literally just respawned back here. Alright. <laughs> hey, you worm. It's kind of weird that Chuck Quizmo literally never appeared in any other game. Alright, I guess dried fruit and cake mix don't make anything? Now I'm curious to see what ice potato and cake mix make. Alright, 57 questions. We've only got a small handful left, folks. Question! How many shovels can you find in Shiver City? What? When in doubt, go for the middle amount? How should I know? I remember seeing a couple, but not many. I'm gonna have to check for myself. I suppose with my money, I also could buy more stuff from, uh, Cheat Rippo. 
Oh, I also need to do the Chapter 7 uh, challenge, don't I? Did I ever do the Chapter 6 challenge? I don't, I don't actually remember. Doom, 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 boom. Man, Wackalester, you actually get to tag along for a lot of this. <laughs> we gotta make up for the fact that we didn't have you for most of this game. Alright, there's a shovel there. Are they counting the ones inside, too? They probably are. Alright, that's two. I literally never even noticed these before. Also, what happens if you actually go into Herringway's chimney again? <laughs> I've never seen this happen- oh. <laughs> you saved the last Star Spirit! Everyone's talking about it! You know, I never thought about you as the famous Mario. It's so exciting to meet a hero! I'm a huge fan! I'm pulling for you! Best of luck to you! Oh, thanks. Do you have a shovel in your basement? No, you don't. Another thing we have to do here. Uh, you look okay to me. I want to sleep, because I need an ice potato, and I also need the altar shroom that the snowmen are going to give me. <laughs> Mario! I took a nap, and when I woke up, there were all these items! And it was the weirdest thing! The floor was all wet, as if the snow had melted everywhere! Do you think someone left these as a present for you, Mario? But who would do that? Alright, well, we want the ice potato, and we want the altar shroom. I don't really care about the rest of these mushrooms. If we leave them behind, will they stay? <laughs> I actually don't know. How much are snowman dolls? Oh wow, they're super cheap. Welcome to Sugar Shop. Three more items can be checked. Great. Actually, nah. I'm just gonna sell that mushroom. <laughs> actually, no. Because I can use, I can make more life shrooms of that mushroom. Here, take the mushroom. Take some of these shroom steaks. We'll put it in the deep freezer for you. Thanks, buddy. I'm guessing there must only be four shovels then, because I've only seen two, and we're on the last part of the village now. Do 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 do. It would probably be faster to just randomly guess, honestly. But if we're here, we might as well. Okay, yeah, there's definitely only four shovels then. Oh, okay, there are two right there. Those are the two I remember seeing, yeah. So now I- so we left. If we come back in, the mushrooms are still here! I didn't- I never knew that. I just need some more iced potatoes, though. Actually, couldn't- or no, we couldn't buy them. We found an iced potato in the back of Harry's shop, though. <laughs> Mario, are you taking advantage of my hospitality? Maybe? I, I probably should not have tried to go for 100%, at least for, like, the tattles and the recipes, but I can't help it. Alright, one, two, three, four. Okay, well, I can't hold anymore, so... That's gonna have to do it for now. <laughs> I could take the mushrooms and sell them, but if I do that, um, I don't... A, they don't sell for very much. I have more money than I could ever hope to use. And on top of that, I don't have room in my inventory, so I'm just going to keep them there, just in case. Also, hi Dragon Colony, hi Prince Dusk, how are you guys doing tonight? Nice to see you both. We're hopefully going to get the side quest stuff out of the way pretty quickly. I figured I'd do that at the beginning of the stream to let more people have time to join. Alright. Let's start with the strange leaf and the blueberry. I should have 
I should have made this a long time ago. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> You're lurking. <laughs> That's fitting for a dragon. And we get the sleepy sheep. I don't know why you get a sleepy sheep for that. Or how you would ever be expected to know to do that, but alright. Ultra Shroom Honey Syrup. <laughs> Black Lester is shaking with excitement. Alright. Honey Ultra? Now we gotta cook up all these iced potatoes. Because, you know Mario, he's just a diehard fan for potato salad. Not really. The main reason is that uh, potato salad and shrimp steaks make a very, very good item. <laughs> And as I learned recently, you can make shroom steaks really easily just by making the mushrooms and the Koopa leaves. Do 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 do. It's kind of weird that the iced potato only normally only makes two recipes and they're both not that good and you can't get them until chapter 7. Anyhow, potato salad and a shroom steak. The recipes in this are pretty weird. It's really hard to work out. Oh, it's one of her specialties. The Deluxe Feast. 40 HP and 40 FP with one item. We basically don't need anything but these. do 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 I genuinely cannot remember if... Oh no, we, we did the Chapter 6 challenge from the Boo, because I remember there's the Amazing Daisy as the last... Uh, the, the last uh, challenge to face. So we just have the Chapter 7 challenge left. And maybe we can do the Chapter 8 one as well? I'm not actually too sure. Anyhow, Shroom Grocery. We're gonna sell... <laughs> gonna sell that uh, Sleepy Sheep immediately. We probably should sell the pebble as well. Because realistically, it's not doing anything for me, but... Nah, I'm keeping it for the memes. I'd love to finish off, like, Bowser with the pebble. That's always a funny way to finish Bowser off. do 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 Alright, let's prep our badges for our, uh, the Chapter 7 challenge. I think the only enemies in the air we have to worry about are the Swoopulas. So I honestly feel like Mega Quake is kind of the way to go. Yeah, Mega Quake, I think, is a good choice. However, wait, for the Swoopulas, though. Hmm. For the Swoopulas, we'll get Zap Tap as well. I think Mega Quake plus... Oh, we need to get in Peril first, though. Whoops. That's right. Mega Rush strats do require Peril. Thankfully, Flower Fields is very useful for actually getting into Peril quickly. Especially on Pro Mode, where the spikes deal extra damage. Sorry, Mario, it's for, th it's for the good of the Chapter 7 challenge. Mega Rush and all that. Hey, Nintendo Addict! I'm, I'm doing great tonight. It's a fantastic, beautiful, sunny night here. It's probably still going to be light when I finish the stream, which is awesome. How are you doing? <laughs> Mario's not having the best day. No, he's really not. <laughs> 
Realistically, I probably did, don't need to use Peril Strats, but... I like... <laughs> I like using Peril Strats. Oh, actually, wait. Hmm. Alright, I'm trying to think. So Mega Quake deals 6 damage, plus the 4 from Mega Rush. Okay. Actually, we should probably reorganize the badges, because I also forgot. It would be nice to have the Flower Fanatic badge equipped as well. Alright. We shouldn't need Quick Change. We should not need Quick Change for this. I'm actually going to unequip the... Oh, we don't need the damage dodges, because if we take damage, uh, we, we dead anyways. Here we go, Flower Fanatic. I'll also equip Last Stand and Close Call, just in case the enemies actually manage to attack me. You went to check on the garden today and found it had been crushed by a tree. Wow, that is... that's not good. Sounds like a rough time. Yeesh, I hope you, I hope you didn't lose a lot of crops that way. Also, is it too late for me to start growing cucumber plants? Because I've been thinking about doing that for a while, but we're already halfway through June. And I'm wondering if it's going to even be worth it. Alright, Cooper, you're going to be my aide here. Yes, I'm ready for a trial. 20 coins. Here we go. Oh, barf. I forgot about you guys. That's okay. Magikoopas run away. Actually, we probably just could have gotten off with multi-bounce. Mainly the beans that got wrecked. Yeah, that's still unfortunate. I mean, I don't like beans myself, but... It's still unfortunate that they... <laughs> died. I'm still getting star points. Actually, I think I'm gonna run out of FP, aren't I? I sure am, even with the Flower Fanatic badge. Yeah, this does seem a little bit like overkill. I only I only needed Power Quake. Yeah, Power Quick would have been a better choice. And I don't have any items that just refill FP either. Round six coming up. Yeah, we're going to run out of FP right before the final round, aren't we? Okay, no, we can deal with this. We're going to take out the Duple Ghost first. No, we're not, apparently. I mean, the Swoopulas will literally just... <laughs> Thank goodness. Yes, please keep raising their attack power. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Oh! Wait! They can damage you? I thought Swoopy was just couldn't damage you with Zap Tap. Okay. No, you know what, folks? That actually kind of works out, because we can just switch to Power Quake instead, which will say will help us save a lot more FP. Do, 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 do. But a little boom 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 power quake. And I guess power rush? Doesn't really matter, but yeah, I thought that the Swoopy was literally just got zapped and so they couldn't damage you, but apparently my defense was just too high. I 
Alright, well, that's okay. With Power Quake, we should... Yeah, it only takes 2 FP per Power Quake, and it should still be strong enough to kill them all anyways. That's the problem. Mega Quake takes exponentially more FP to use compared to Power Quake. Alright. Yeah, I think we'll clear this challenge, get the rest of the Chuck Quizmo star pieces. We're gonna try to fight the Master, because he has his second form anyways, and then I think we'll head off to Chapter 8. That's my current plan. Oh man, Meg <laughs> Mega Rush strats for the win. Mega Rush is very risky against bosses, but against common enemies, it's ludicrously good. I also love how they nerfed basically every attack that hits all enemies except for the Quake Hammer badges. Like, Power Bomb? Nope, that sucks. <laughs> Star Storm? Nope, that got nerfed into Oblivion. If I were you, I'd run. So that's not enough to kill the Duple Ghosts, but that's where Cooper comes in. Just three rounds left, alright. I'm still waiting for the... Oh wait, the Albino Dinos actually might be problematic. Oh shoot, uh, the Albino Dinos have 20 HP, don't they? I'm just gonna preemptively swap to Bow, because if the Albino Dinos show up, I'm gonna want to use Out of Sight. Two Quake Hammers. Oh no! Wait, shoot! No! I'm stupid! Why did I do that? Oh no, this is real bad. Does that work on transparent enemies? Hmm. That or timeout? Um. Let's try timeout. I think timeout will cause their transparency to wear off. Eventually. Nope, doesn't even work on them. Great. Oh, I could have tried to spook them. Great. Well, I don't want to die, so... Y what the... Oh, that's right, I unequipped every single one of my defense badges. So actually, this isn't gonna matter at all. Please destroy them. Watch that only work on the Magikoopa. Doggone it. <laughs> At least last stand is activated. 
Okay, yeah, there goes Paracarry's transparency. That's good. But Sushi's gonna kill me. Mm. Well, this went pear-shaped real fast. Dog on it. I had to hope for a close call. Well, that is not good. Dun 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 dun. Got to rethink my strategy. All right. I have a plan, y'all. I think my initial strategy was quite good. I just need to rebalance it a bit. So we're gonna do power quick. Yeah, Flower Fanatic. Uh, we're gonna unequip. Gonna unequip. No, not last stand. I want last stand. Uh, we are going to unequip refund because we're not using that, and instead we're going to equip quick change. We'll keep Cooper in our party, and that way, if we actually do face the albino dinos, we can quick swap to bow and out of sight. And there we go. All right, we should be able to beat. We should be able to beat it now. Yo. Yeah, I forgot we had refund even equipped. We do not need money anymore. <laughs> we have more than enough for the rest of the game. Oh, I just realized the Gulpids have little frowny eyebrows. I didn't realize that before. I thought they were just like, hmm? Yeah, I'm here. What, what up? But no, they're actually kind of giving me, like, the glare. Like, don't mess with my rock pile. Huh, 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 huh. Broken badge setup. They weren't kidding when they called these challenges. Man, imagine an earthquake so severe it just instantly kills you when you feel the tremor. That is what Mario is. That's what these enemies are experiencing from Mario's hammer. <laughs> Thank goodness the Magic Koopas run away when there's o when they're the only ones left. <laughs> that would otherwise these fights would be really difficult. Oh man, those swoopulas. <laughs> All right, round seven. That's weird that the white Magikoopa starts transparent when he's the healer. There were there were no gray Magikoopas anywhere here. All right, come on. I'm waiting for the albino dinos in the final round. Just waiting for it. Alright, this is why I brought Cooper along. Power Shell! Oh, they couldn't start White Magic Koopa with extra HP, so they went with the transparency. I guess, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Alright, last challenge. Come on, Albino Dinos. Yep, I knew it. And this is why we have Quick Change. <laughs> Chonky boy. It really does make me wonder if the Albino Dino was an enemy that was fully programmed in the main game, but they just cut him out, or if they just flat out fully added an enemy for the Albino Dino 2 Pro Mode. 
I'm leaning kind of towards the first one of those. Congratulations, first time, so we get back some money. And as for our prize, we get Repel Gel. That's it, that's a good prize. Thank you. Why is it still playing Tasty's theme? We're not even on the same screen as Tasty anymore. And we'll store the Honey Ultra. Do we have any more Shroom Steaks in here, or did I already withdraw them all? We do. Whoop, that's right, I couldn't get an extra Ice Potato. Yeah, it's still playing the Tasty version of this song, even though we're not even on Tasty's part of the map anymore. That, that Chapter 7 challenge took far longer than it should have. <laughs> Can I dance in your potato salad? How many people will actually get that reference? I hope not that many. <laughs> Alright, after this we're going to hunt down Chuck Quizmo. Get those last questions out of the way. Oh man, Deluxe Feast is so good. <laughs> I used to think that the only way to get that was Whack-A-Bump and Strange Leaf, and Whack-A-Bumps are uh, in finite supply, but that's actually not true. Potato Salad and Shroom Steak also does the job. Alright. Where is Quizmo hiding? Oh, I guess Quizmo can also be on Yoshi's Island. I always forget about that. Actually, he's probably there. Because I think I checked these other pipes, didn't I? Oh, here he is. Quiz! Let's try the quiz! Question. There are four shovels in Shiver City. I checked my... I checked myself! I literally checked myself, and there were only four. You are lying, Chuck Quizmo. I literally went all through Shiver City. And oh, unless the mayor has two in his house. I didn't look in his house. Wow, I should just... I literally should not have gone even bothered trying to <laughs> look in Shiver City myself. I, be I bet the mayor has two in his house. That was literally the one place I did not check. They hide, apparently. <laughs> Hi, Janae. Uh, yes, I am Quizmo farming, because I only have a small handful of questions left, and then I should have all the star pieces and get the rest of the badges. Tongue on a Quizmo. It's making me look in Alderaan places. Oh, he... Maybe he's not... Actually, can Quizmo spawn in Yoshi Village? I actually don't even remember. I thought he could. But regardless, he's not there. Doom, doom, doom. Why is it saying my Twitch sound alerts is up? I don't use sound alerts anymore. I use mix it up. Oh, he can't? Whoops. So, okay, so he's hiding either in Toad Town or Shiver City. He's in Shiver City. Well, you know what? We can get another iced potato. <laughs> and see if those two shovels really are in the mayor's house. Either that or maybe Artie is legally blind. That is also possible. Hey, 
Sushi, I hope you don't mind the cold. I know you grew up on, like, a volcanic tropical island, but you're gonna have to... Uh... Okay, yeah, so... There's one shovel there. In the snow. There's one shovel there. In the storeroom. Oh, well, actually, there are shovels under the water, if you look closely. N I don't think so. So that's two of the shovels. Wait, was there... Oh, wait. Was, was there one in the shop? That, oh, there are two in the shop. On the wall is decorations. Okay. So I'm just blind. <laughs> shovels out of bounds. The entire area is secretly surrounded with shovels. That checks out. Wait, come on! He's not here! What the butts? Where is this worm? I've literally checked every spot. Unless it's like, oh, you can't just leave Koopa Village and then immediately come back. You've got to go to a different area for, like... <sighs> Are you serious, Quizmo? I just think this is in pro mode, where you can answer multiple questions in a row, severely minimizing the amount of backtracking you have to do. And he's still taking this long. Alright, he's pro- I bet you he's back in the stupid Koopa Poopa village. No, he's not. Where is he? He was so ashamed that I got the shovel question wrong that he's just disappeared off the face of the earth. Okay, there's two places in Koopa Village, there's one place in Goomba Village, two places in Dry Dry Outpost, Shiver City, Yoshi Village, Toad Town. Near Merlin's house. Hey, Mobius! A nice pup putty moat. Whoever designed it must have impeccable taste. You're just in time to have watch us extremely struggle to find a worm. Okay, maybe he's in a different part of Yoshi Village than I never went to. I. You guys have seen- I've checked every place that he spawns in. He doesn't spawn in Chapter 3. He doesn't spawn in Shy Guy Toy Box. Or in Flower Fields. Maybe you need to be an early bird. <laughs> I love it. Maybe he's in this part? I genuinely don't don't remember exactly. Oh my! I have never in all my years of playing Paper Mario have I I've never seen him spawn here before. Never. Question: How many shovels? There are six apparently. How many questions have I had to exhaust every possible answer in before I got it right? Way too many. All right, let's try the next one. Question. Among the following, who did you meet in Starborn Valley? We met Merle. Here, give me my star piece. You've answered 59 questions, but we're not done yet. Let's go to the next one. Question. Which one of these ingredients was not needed to bake a cake for a gourmet guy? Uh, oh, we did not need milk. Correct! <laughs> we definitely needed detergent, though. That is, that is a fact. But we're not done yet. Well, let's try the next one. Question. Where can you find the Mega Jump Badge? That's in Shiver Mountain. Correct! You're a nerd! Alright, 61 questions. We only have four left. Question. What is the name of Sushi's daughter? Uh, sashimi. 
Correct! Here's your star piece. I feel like I either s struggle with the questions enough to exhaust every possible answer, or I get like 10 right in a row. Oh, that's... Never mind. That's all we can do for Chuck Quizmo. Interesting. Maybe there's some post-game content, then? <laughs> it's cute that the fish named Sushi has a daughter named Sashimi. <laughs> or Twisted, depending on who you ask. Alright. I'm gonna try to fight the Master second form, then. Alright. Oh, I wonder I wonder if the Dodge Master match will actually do anything against the Master. Probably not. Oh, actually, wait. Zap Tap could be really nice, because I believe the Master's second form, he can attack multiple times. And I think Zap Tap might actually stop him from doing that. All right, with five available FP or BP, I don't think we need any. Uh, let's do D down jump. I have a feeling he's gonna have defense. And now let's just do last stand power rush close call. The danger badges. There must be post game content, yeah, for the chapter eight boo challenge. That's true. <laughs> That's boo. That's kind of cool, then, if they did that. Alright, let's t let's get some items at Harry's shop. Because I have a feeling we're going to be needing to eat some items for this fight. Welcome to Harry's shop. Alright, well, I'm going to need that steak I have in here. Um, what else? Definitely a life shroom. Or two. Hustle Drink also might be useful. Yeah. I'll take a Hustle Drink. Um, Because Hustle... If the Master has his same gimmick from his first form, where he deals more damage depending on how much damage you deal to him, Hustle Drink could really come in handy. <laughs> there is the new building on the Star Hill, that's true. Oh, wait, no. No, don't just cook my steak. I forgot. I need to cook iced potato first. I'm not sure if I can actually do anything in that building on Star Hill till after the game is over, though. I could check it out. <laughs> Steak and potato salad apparently is a deluxe feast. You heard it here first. I mean, the steak is. Potato salad is not. I love potatoes, but potato salad is kind of an abomination. Way too much mayonnaise. Yeah, right. Here we go. Let's get out Goombario for the tattle. Also, because Goombario can deal a good amount of damage. Alright, Master. <coughs> Mario, welcome to the dojo. I'm here to try. Very well, Mario. I will fight you again. I will not go easy on you this time, however. You must concentrate fully if you hope to compete. To battle! Mario, you will fall! Well, we'll see about that. Alright. Regular jump. Hmm. Nice maneuver. Yeah. This is where we're gonna want. D-down jump. It's the master. He's the strongest member. He knows normal and advanced methods of attack. Okay, so he's not doing any damage yet. Oh, he only has 99 HP. Or, 100. Okay, this is going to actually be a lot easier than I was expecting. Okay, Zap Tap does absolutely nothing against him. Alright. Well, 
Well, he's still relatively weak at this point, so... Ouch! Hmm, nice maneuver. I think we can charge up one more time. Should have equipped Mega Rush! <laughs> Whoops! We also probably should have chilled him out. I don't know if I, I don't want to eat a Deluxe Feast for this. I'm going to smooch. Alright, let's multi bonk. Don't lose your concentration. I have yet to truly begin fighting back. Remember when I said he wouldn't be that difficult? <laughs> this is why we bring life shrooms. Hmm, nice maneuver. Alright, um, I think Watt's gonna be our best bet for dealing damage now. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, the Master's gimmick of, um, dealing more damage, depending on how much damage you've dealt to him, is nasty! Thankfully, Life Shrooms are extremely easy to get. Alright, so he'll make me lose my, my last Life Shroom. By the way, folks, this is... That's me successfully guarding the attack with multiple defense boosts. So he would normally do even more damage than this. <laughs> Goodbye, Master. Hmm. That was a solid fight. Very well, I will give you this. We get this fourth degree card. You are welcome to train with us any time. <coughs> I wonder if the last fight you have to fight Master, Lee, and Chan all at once. That would actually be really interesting. Alright, we're actually going to start going towards Chapter 8 now. And to deal with the Embers... Let's get our multi-bounce on. And ice power. And we don't need zap tap now, do we? We don't need zap tap. Let's get all that instead. Hi, Mario! Um, just let me sleep in the bed. Oh, okay. What's the point of the item he gives you? Uh, bragging rights. The Master is literally just, you beat him so you can feel accomplished. <laughs> Alright. Off to Shooting Star Summit. Still have no- oh, I bet that last pipe leads to somewhere in the final world. I bet if you like, reach Peach's Castle, there will, be, there will be a pipe you can take back. There are a few NPCs that comment on it, but that's it. Yeah, that's right. Also, I never took the jam and jelly out of here, did I? Or the shooting star. <laughs> it's been in here for a couple chapters now. Alright, Merlo. We've got 34 star pieces. Okay. Alright, there's... Uh, I'm gonna get Berserker because we just haven't gotten it yet. And it's a new badge. Berserker badge increases Mario's attack power, but makes him uncontrollable. Let's get Mega HP Drain. Another new badge. We need 6 FP for that. 
Oh, it only restores HP every turn. Wow, we are missing a lot of star pieces. What is... What? Why are we missing so many star pieces? Did they just add a bunch more to the game? Maybe there was a bunch more star pieces added to the post game. Tell me where a star piece is that I can find. Wah! Twinkle light, twinkle bright! Wah! Pain! Woo! Poi! Wah wah wah! Aha! Uh -huh. Oh yeah! Master star, fill my eyes with the light of that which I seek! I see a star piece. Just beyond the bridge where you defeated the Goomba King is an open area with a hill that can't be climbed. You spin jump in front of the... Oh, there's a hidden panel back there. Okay. I'll get that later. I wish I knew how much extra attack power the Berserker Badge gives you, because if it's just plus one, that is 100% not worth it. If it's plus three, then maybe. Mario, can you hear me? I'm going to open the entrance to Starway. Enter this path without fear. The Starway continues all the way up here to Starhaven. We seven Star Spirits will be waiting for you here. We wish to give you our remaining power. With this power, you will be able to stand up to the Star Rod Bowser holds. We anxiously await you. Mario, make haste to Starhaven! Alright, here we are. And here are the embers. Why are they transparent? Why? We don't even have Starbeam yet. <laughs> nice, nice damage, loser. They had to make the embers a fret somehow. They're still not a fret. That's, that's just annoying. Also, they don't clone anymore. They used to clone whenever you damage them. Oh well, that's fine. Well, forget it, I'm not bothering to fight them then. I'm gonna save it for Bowser's Castle. I got the tattle I needed. Okay, well, I guess I'll fight this guy. Oh, there! Now they cloned! Interesting. Squirt him, Sush. You think you can hurt Sushi? How dare you! I forgot how good Squirt is. It's basically para- I just realized Squirt is basically Paracarry Shell Shot, but it costs less FP. <laughs> so that definitely hurts Paracarry's viability. Especially in Pro Mode, where Air Raid is no longer good. Hello, Adult Twink! Good afternoon! Or good evening, maybe? In Starhaven, you can see stars all the time. There used to be a lot more shooting stars, but that was before the Star Rod was taken. The beauty of this place was incredible back then.
This place is nice and pretty. Hey, you want to buy a soda? Not particularly. I thought I had more than one hustle drink with me. No, I, I got an extra life shroom, that's right. I should get my sweet shrooms. The sweet shrooms are not quite as good as the deluxe feasts. Healthy juice. I still have a yummy meal? Yeah, I need to get that out of here first. And the jelly super? Wow. Here, check a couple of my deluxe feasts. <laughs> I should not be burning through them. Those have got to make me... Those have to last. <laughs> and the one random regular mushroom. Well, I'm keeping that because that'll help me make another deluxe feast if I want to. Need a little rest? Yes, please. I wish there was more to do in Star Haven. There are, like, no star pieces, no badges to find. I guess it's just the final rest area, basically. Gotta save, because I'm not even trusting it to not be like, Well, Mario, to prove that you're worthy of wielding our power, you must fight the star spirits. <laughs> and hey, look! Crystal stars from Thousand Year Door! <laughs> Mario, you finally made it. The time has come to take the fight to Bowser's turf. Now, hold still while we seven join together to bestow upon you our final power. This will actually be really useful. Mario can now use Star Beam! If you use this power, you can drain the power of the Star Rod whenever Bowser uses it. Ah uh, yes, and one more thing. I have one final gift which should come in handy. It's the fanciest bathtub we could find. And it's all yours, my son. <laughs> this is the legendary starship of Starhaven. Bowser is keeping his castle way up in the sky. With this ship, however, you can reach it. Climb aboard, onto Bowser's castle. We will always be with you. Whenever you are in need, use our powers to help you. Are you ready to take off? You betcha! Aw, yeah! Awesome music. I mean, literally every song in this game is awesome music. Look! A shooting star! Princess, come back! Princess, come back! Princess, come back! Did you wish for something? I hope your dreams come true! Me too! I want to see the princess. I want to see the princess. I want to see the princess. I want to eat shroom cake! I want to eat shroom cake! I want to eat tons and tons of shroom cake! Oh, shooting star, please fulfill my wishes! Pretty please! <laughs> that kid is my spirit animal. I mean, those don't exist. Can we just fly right to Peach's castle and not inside the Bowser mouth? Seems kind of weird, but alright. Chapter 8. A star-powered showdown. <laughs> Seriously, why could Mario not just fly the bathtub all the way up to Peach's castle? It doesn't make any sense. do 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 it's nice to see Bowser's backup clown cars if you want some. Now wait, have I tattled? I think I've tattled on pretty much every enemy in Bowser's castle. Maybe not the Hammer Brother. Magic invisible anti-air guns. Alright, maybe. 
I love Bowser's Castle. It's a great final dungeon. Oh, man, we even still have a half hour left in the stream. And this is why we have Spike Shield, folks. Oh, we don't need Ice Power anymore, do we? <laughs> we also no longer need... F well, I, b I bet you they're going to throw Embers in here. Okay, Koop Patrols can now attack right after being hip uh, <laughs> jumped on. Good to know. We know from Mario Maker that Bowser must have thousands of clown cars. That's true. Oh man, I haven't played Mario Maker very much. I really like the idea, but I, I don't really have the patience to make all those Mario levels. I made, like, one. And I had a couple in the making, and then never actually continued them. And that's the story of my life. Alright, yeah, we don't need these anymore, but I definitely still want Spike Shield. Zap Tap probably won't do anything. Um, maybe Power Quake could help. Yeah, I think Power Quake is not a bad idea. And I think I'll equip, like, Happy Heart just to keep my HP up. You bought Mario Maker 1 and didn't really do anything with it. That's kind of me. I got Mario Maker 2 for the Switch as, like, a digital order. And and then I eventually, like, I deleted it. Just, I deleted it just to make space on my Switch hard drive. Alright, yeah, these fights are pretty easy. Man, Spike Shield makes Koopa Patrol so much easier. Oh, hey, level up! Let's get HP. We're quite susceptible to dying. <laughs> I'm happy! Oh yeah! Oh yeah, I forgot they could do this. Hello, Bo, my old friend. Mobius, you have free Switch games, Mario Maker 2, Odyssey, and Breath of the Wild. I mean, those free are really good Switch games. You should get Mario Kart. Mario Kart's really fun. And we can do multiplayer. And there we go. I forgot that Koopa Trolls could hypercharge. That was actually kind of frightening. Thank you, Bo. A Super Shroom? Well, you know, that could come in handy. Oh, perfect. Power Quake plus Power Shell equals instant defeat. Actually, Sam might be able to be... Actually, no, I think that, that won't instant kill the Hammer Bros. That's true. That is true. Switch games are expensive, so you gotta plan carefully. Oh my! It's a good thing we have Power Quake and Power Shell. I'm happy! Power Shell, I think, is very underrated. Do, 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 do. Yikes! Okay. And this is where I get a little scared. Oh, this is where I get very scared. Oh dear, this is where I get extremely scared.
They have a lot of HP and they are going to hit me hard. Oh, man. And he shrunk me. Alright, well, let's take out this guy first. Try not to, uh... Ouch! Honey, I shrunk the Mario. Yeah. And once their HP drops below half, they start chucking hammers a lot more. Yeah, I forgot. Hammer Bros are really scary in this game. I mean, they're fairly scary in vanilla Paper Mario to begin with. But in Pro Mode, they get almost double HP and a whole lot more attack power. Ouch! That is really hard to action guard, all of those. Are they ever not scary? They are not scary in Thousand Year Door. I mean, they're not, like, super easy, but they are significantly less intimidating in Thousand Year Door. <laughs> Welcome, worm! I'm called the Guard Door of Bowser's Castle. It's my job to keep suspicious types from entering. You must be Mario. Let me guess. Do you want to go through here? Hmm? You want to get to the other side of this wall, right? Well, yeah. Okay, then. <laughs> Stand in front of me. I kind of... I don't know if I want to. This guy's kind of sus. <laughs> Can't see me. What's the matter with you? Are you scared or something? Quick, come stand in front of me if you want to pass through. I never knew he had dialogue if you, if you uh, don't do this. I don't have a day to wait for you to wander over here. What's the matter with you? you uh, not really. Well, if you don't want to go through here, then you're wasting my time. Go away, now! I didn't know he had all this extra dialogue. Are you standing squarely in front of me? Okay, then I'll let you through. Ah! Oh yes, yeah, the Chancellor. Gah! <laughs> you fell for it, worm. You'll never escape from that impenetrable prison. Try all you like. All you'll do is exhaust yourself. I'll tell you what, if you make it back up here, I'll let you through. How's that? But I think you're far too frightened. <laughs> I know you'll never make it. I hope you have a good time shaking and crying down there. <laughs> oh, Mario, you came at long last. As you can see, we're in a horrible situation. Princess Peach is who knows where, and her beautiful castle is being run by Bowser's horrid staff of rejects. Nothing fills me with more joy than serving this castle with my heart and soul, but right now there's nothing I can do. We have no choice but to rely on you now, Mario. Uh, please, at least save our dear Prince Peach. <laughs> Don't forget to f use the free heart block down here. <laughs> you guys want a tasty tonic? It's real. I love how they put a tasty tonic down here, which is like, in the vanilla game, is like the, the worst item in the game. I still can't believe that old Peach's castle was kidnapped during the party! I know it was just a means to catch Princess Peach, but still, only an evil fiend like Bowser would do something like that! Please make him pay! Yeah, the nerve of Bowser. Also, please ignore the cracks in the wall. <laughs> there we go! It's a piece of cake to break these walls! The material's weak. These are much easier than the walls of Koopa Bros Fortress. You're really lucky to have me alone, aren't you? I mean, yeah, but you kind of stink in battle in this game, Bombat. Power Bomb got nerfed way too much. I thought I used Parakiri's power ability. Guess not! It's okay. It's merely a flesh wound. <laughs> Vaca Lester, yeah, you remember him. We They really try to make him good in this. 
I feel like Wacker Lester gets a bit of a bad rap. Like, the only reason he's not that good is because you get him so late in the game, and he's just kind of made invalid by a lot of your other party members. But his attacks inherently aren't, like, awful. Okay, Hurricane is, but... Not much we can do about that one. <laughs> I like how his cloud is frowning when they're going over the lava. I feel like you need Paracarry in the overworld more than any other party member, and it's kind of annoying, because I don't like using him in battle. But how about that music, though? Doom, 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 doom. Oh, go oh, good. Bowser left me a mystery and a thunder rage. What a guy. I like how Bowser's castle, like all of the puzzles, you have to use your party members to get through. It's really cool. No! M M mario is right there! Now what were we supposed to do with this situation? Kami Koopa told us something, but I'm trying to tell the blank! I think she told us not to let him touch that switch. Oh, oh no! Do you think that means we have to fight him? No! He'll wipe the floor with us! Stop your belly aching! Who says we should be afraid of Mario, huh? He's not so bad! Whatever happens, we can't let him push the switch! Don't you care that King Bowser needs our help? Come on! Take this plumber! Show him what you're made of! Ah, we have no choice! Gotta be brave! Gotta be... That's a hack! <laughs> Aw, oh, man, Magikoopa starts out invisible. I also think default Magikoopas don't run away. When they're the only ones left, but we'll see. Maybe he'll still run away and be like, You shouldn't be such cowards! Oh, never mind, the Magikoopa's like, Come on, don't be such a coward! And then he runs away from Mario. That's funny. And then he and then he disintegrates. All right. Well, as, as great as a tasty tonic. Actually, you know what? No, my tasty tonic. <laughs> that one switch shuts out the lava, and then in an instant, all of the lava hardens. That's how that works. Hey, that lava hardened when it cooled off. Now we can walk across it. Let's go, Mario. Yeah, immediately it hardened back into rock. That makes sense. Alright, yeah, that's where the key is. Castle key! Nice! Apparently, the, that switch activated a giant refrigerator that froze all of the lava. <laughs> hey, everybody in jail, don't worry. I believe in you. Alright, I'm wondering if they ch actually changed this badge around, or if this is still going to be the deep focus that looks weird. We get the deep focus. It's still the deep focus that looks weird. All right. Well, if you ever wanted all three deep focus badges, then you can have it now. Yeah, I kind of want that life shroom. Uh, let's see. But first I shall eat a super shroom. I thought... I was worried for a second that Life Shroom was going to hop up on top of the block and be unreachable. 
Thank goodness that didn't happen. Boom, 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 boom. Bowser's Castle is a really well designed dungeon. Definitely my favorite dungeon of the game. All unless you count Mount Lava Lava, but that's that's just a minor dungeon. Keep the mystery and the thunder rage in case I want to come back <laughs> later. <laughs> but I'm all full on the inventory now. And this is where we need Watt. And now Bowser's Castle turns into Bowser's Cavern. Oh yeah, bony beetles. I forgot about you guys. Ouch! I forget, if we change to Goombario, does the lights go out? Yes. The lights do go out. Okay, we'll have to tattle on the bony beetles later. That's not very nice, but I'm still happy. <laughs> Take that, evil doer. That's right, yeah, you literally just need Watt for this entire area. Well, actually, you don't, but because you actually do need Paracarry for a couple parts. But you need Watt to see. Unless you're a speedrunner. I do believe that is just a dizzy dial in that question mark block. Which are nothing against dizzy dials, but they're not very good. Certainly not as good as any of the other items I have in my inventory. Ouch! How very rude. Take that. Ouch. Did could not action guard that properly. In your face. There we go. There's that action guard. <laughs> Happy. This would be an interesting game to do with, like, the level 1 challenge, but you can equip all badges. It really would be interesting. Did I accidentally take the most efficient path? I actually don't remember the exact way to go through here. But I'll take it! The other ways just lead to items, anyways. And my HP's getting a little on the low side. Oh, nope. Dead end. Hey, Magikoopa! Oh, crap. Oh, crap! You guys ready for pro strats? How are you how are you guys gonna hit me in the dark?
Excellent. I'm very glad they didn't make anyone transparent. And now, with Quick Change, we can switch back to Watt, which will turn the lights back on, even if she can't attack. And now we can Power Quake, and then the Invisible Magic Koopa will run away. Like a chicken! Buck, 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 buck. You better run. And that's how it's done. Okay, this has always been weird to me. Because we can go below this, Fane, but then when we push it... Actually, wait, this isn't... But then when we push it, it makes a door open down here. It's very strange. Blah, what? You came back? You escaped from that underground jail? But there was no way you could escape! Gah, of all the dirty tricks. I guess I have to keep my word. You can... Go through. Ugh, but don't think I'll forget this. Now we open his face. How grand. We have time to save people down here. And Mario's time to ch practice his ballet moves. It's a me! Ouch! Oh, it's just one... <laughs> only one beast! <laughs> Youch! Sparky! Take that. We get the prison key! I have freed you all. I mean, you're still in outer space, but I have freed you all. I come all the way from Dry Dry Desert to Princess Peach's party, and look what happens. I've been to some lame parties, but that was ridiculous. I want to go back to the desert as soon as possible. Mario, you're safe! Oh, I'm so glad! We all got captured before we knew what was happening. A few people at the party were able to get away, but they caught most of us. I wonder where Princess Peach, the minister, and all the other guests are. I'm really worried about them. Mario, your main goal is to save the princess, isn't it? She must be doing okay, holding on to the belief that you'll come. We soldiers should have broken out to save her by now. But it's taken all our efforts just to protect the prisoners. What a shame. Psst, psst. That Toad House's slogan is refresh your body and soul. This isn't a real Toad House, but you can take a quick nap here if you feel like it. Are you going to take a nap? Sure, why as well. These are difficult times. Please rest well, though. <laughs> and we actually get to see him snoring. <laughs> Did you sleep well? Then take care and go. Oops, shh, I should be quiet. Otherwise, they'll find us. <laughs> I love that. You can sleep in the prison bed. That's funny. Wee! Alright. I know it's technically a couple of minutes before I usually end the stream, but because save points are sparse in this dungeon, I feel like this is as good a, pot as any, a spot as any to uh, stop streaming. Thank you all for joining in. This is a lot of fun. I'm glad to get back in the swing of uh, streaming. Uh, Saturday's stream will not be happening because we're celebrating my birthday with my family, so I will be busy that day. I might be busy Sunday as well, but if I'm not, I will be doing Saturday's stream on Sunday then. So that's my current plan. And then uh, Paper Mario Pro Mode, I think we actually might be able to finish the main campaign next stream on Monday, which would be cool. Or maybe it'll take that and Wednesday's stream as well. And then there might be a one or two bonus streams where we finish getting everything and beat all of the rest of the stuff. So, look forward to that. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your evening, and God bless.